Alright then, welcome back. Okay, we got one more level to do. And here it's called Making Waves. Once again, we'll be using Coco. Um, to be honest, I'm not too fond of these jet ski levels, or whatever they're called. I'm not very fond of them. But, it's not like this is the worst one. You know, it's only the fifth level, so can't be that bad, right? Wow, it's not like I have a British accent. A horrible British accent. I never work. I never was very good at doing impressions. Let me show you a trick real quick. There you go. It's an extra life. I'm sure you probably already knew that, but... I don't know. You may have, you may not have. But I've known that since I was a kid, so... I figured I'd share my knowledge. My little knowledge of this game with you guys. Alright, now it's time to fight the first boss, which is Tiny Tiger, that guy we saw before. Now, <clears throat> personally, I don't like Tiny Tiger that much. He's an alright character to me. But, uh, when I was a kid, my dad used to love Tiny Tiger. I don't know why my dad liked him so much, but that's how it was. He used to love Tiny. You know, I love how they always give, like, some stupid, stupid or ironic name to characters like him. His name's Tiny Tiger, and he's humongous. No, yeah, he's just, he's gentle as a kit. He's gentle as a kitten. I love how Cortex is sitting right there. Crash could just jump up there and and kick his ass right here and now. Now here's where the real challenge of the boss comes in. I'm not saying it is a challenge, I'm just saying that's the hardest part of the entire boss. Okay, now this is the hardest part of the entire boss. Since he sends out more. See? You can still get killed.
Every time you defeat a boss, you will get a new power up. Well done, children. By defeating Tidy, you have unlocked the gate to the next time travel area. Go back to the center of this time twister and save your progress if you wish. From there, you will see that the gate to the second time travel area is now open. Okay, so you will get a new power up every time you defeat an, an, a boss. In this case, we got the Super Body Slam, which is just a bigger slam attack. Now, this is the second time in Portal, or Warp Room, whatever you want to call it. Our first level is pretty easy. Just gotta, it's just our basic level, you know. Whatever you want. Really, if you remember like any of the minions, like the other animal sort of things, they're all gone. Most of the enemies in this game are just like other scientists who work for Cortex. And of course Cortex himself. Okay, now those types of boxes you will have to slam them. Now those you don't have to, but I just chose to. After we defeat the next boss, which is Dingo Dial, we probably get the most useful move in the entire game, which is the double jump. But that's not for a while. We still have a, a ways to go. kind of what run out of things to say. Bad idea. Wow, that croc, that frog just blew itself up. That's amazing. Alright, next bonus world. Of course, it's easy. It's like the second war room. Damn it. Alright, now if you do end up dying in a bonus world, nothing will happen to you, you'll just end up back there again. God, I wish I could skip this shit. I don't really give, give a crap, I just want to get this done. I'm on a time limit here, people. So yeah, you don't... Nothing happens to you, you just... Anything you got in that bonus world, you have to get again. Don't worry if I die, it's Crush Bandicoot. 
whenever I do a crash playthrough, you can always expect deaths to come.